today I'm going to talk a little bit about our approach to support tools at Retool. Uh, but first, I want to talk a little bit about who I am and my background. Uh, before I started working at Retool, I was actually a customer. I began using the platform in 2018. I was the most active user on the community forums because I genuinely enjoyed building apps in Retool, and it was kind of a hobby to help unblock other users. Towards the end of 2019, Retool sent me a t-shirt as a thank you. It's actually this t-shirt. Uh, and that sort of sparked this conversation about joining Retool to start the support department. Today, we've grown the support team up to eight people, and we're planning on reaching around 14 by the end of the year. That means that I've seen what it takes to scale support workflows very, very quickly. At the same time, I've also personally helped a few thousand customers with building and improving their own internal tools. So I'd like to share my perspective on that. Your tooling priorities are going to shift drastically as you progress from a team of two people to 20 to 200. As other teams grow, how you work alongside them is going to change. And as you expand into new markets, it's going to mean new cultural and compliance considerations. New features are going to mean entirely new categories of customer issues. And then there's the unexpected. With the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw many industries get completely disrupted. One of the things that I'm especially proud of is how Retool was able to help people spin up the support backends for products and systems that didn't exist the week before. So we, we've all been in situations where internal tools weren't up to the task. The areas where you are missing clear workflows are the ones where your team is gonna be the least efficient. And from the customer perspective, I think some of the most frustrating support experiences are the ones where the representative you're working with clearly doesn't have the tool to help manage your request. So I'm going to share an example from when we reviewed our early support workflows because I think it's relevant at any scale. As our team and company grew, we built a lot of apps with very specific support functions. With a very small support team, context on how and when to use these apps was fairly easy. As the team started to grow, however, it became clear that these disjointed tools led to confusing workflows and more difficult onboarding. Here's one example of an old workflow. We sometimes have users who want to have their accounts deactivated. On the surface, this is a pretty simple request. You just get rid of the account, right? But the amount of fringe scenarios where this can cause issues is substantial, especially if you're considering the fact that we might want to archive either a single user or an entire organization. To avoid any issues, you need to check on up to seven different things, which may or may not apply depending on the situation. Onboarding new hires on all of those considerations for a pretty simple and common request takes some considerable time and can still be error prone. What we noticed about this workflow is that we were running through the exact same logic every time. We checked the key data that was readily available inside of our backend and made the same decisions for each type of scenario. That meant that the process could and really should be massively easier for our team to manage if we had a better tooling setup. This is what archiving a user looked like before, checking different parts of four different apps. And this is what that workflow looks like after. On our new dashboard, you click one of two buttons, either archiving an individual or archiving the entire organization. And it takes into consideration all of that institutional knowledge and business logic that we had to remember before. The impact of this one change is actually really significant in the amount of time that it saves day to day. And perhaps even more important for a quickly growing organization, the onboarding time is almost non-existent in comparison. You click one button. And that's just one of the many workflows that we built into this you know, newly built support dashboard. We manage user trials, we update user profiles, organization settings, resource settings, and we can view all of our logs inside of here. And as we launch new features and product lines, it's quite easy to integrate that new data into our existing workflows here. So this change has definitely helped us define our approach to scaling internal tools alongside support that specialized knowledge gets standardized and it's significantly easier to onboard new hires when the workflows are easy and make sense. Our customers are continuing to receive a fantastic experience even while our team grows. And I really do believe that leveraging Retool to quickly evolve our internal tools as our needs change is what's gonna enable us to scale the team to support 50 times the users that we have today. Thank you.